I am Martha, a mother who believes in the power of acceptance and love. My world revolves around my wonderful son, Alex, who holds a special place in my heart. From a young age, Alex displayed an inclination towards self-expression that defied societal norms. It all started when Alex began to show a fondness for dressing up in girls' school uniforms. Rather than discouraging his choices, I decided to embrace his uniqueness and encourage his self-expression. After school, as he walked through the door with a radiant smile, I would greet him with a carefully selected beautiful dress or a skirt. Alex's eyes would light up with delight as he saw the outfit I had prepared. It wasn't about conforming to gender expectations, it was about nurturing his spirit and letting him be himself. Seeing him wear those dresses and skirts, his confidence soared, and he stood tall, unburdened by societal judgments. Our afternoons became a canvas for creativity and bonding. Alex would sit patiently as I brushed his hair, applied a touch of makeup, and adorned him with accessories. These moments weren't just about physical transformation, they were a reflection of our unbreakable mother-son connection. As he sat there, looking like the beautiful soul he was, we would chat about his day, his dreams, and his thoughts. Our conversations flowed naturally, unguarded and full of love. And after our little makeover sessions, we would dive into housework together, sharing stories and laughter as we tackled each task. Through our journey, I learned that the essence of motherhood lay in unwavering acceptance and unconditional love. Alex's choice to express himself authentically was never a cause for concern or embarrassment. Instead, it became an opportunity for me to demonstrate the power of love in action. With time, Alex's desire to express himself openly only grew stronger, inspiring me to take a step further. The idea of creating a safe space for boys who shared his inclination blossomed within me. Thus, I decided to initiate a club where boys who liked to dress in ways traditionally associated with girls could come together without fear of judgment. When I presented this concept to Alex, his eyes sparkled with intrigue. As the first meeting approached, a mix of anticipation and excitement hung in the air. When the day finally arrived, the club welcomed its inaugural member, a boy named Riley and his mother Emily. Alex and I greeted them with open arms, wearing dresses that resonated with our hearts. The four of us spent an enchanting afternoon at the zoo, strolling through the exhibits and enjoying the vibrant tapestry of nature. Alex and Riley chatted animatedly, forming an immediate connection as they exchanged stories and experiences. It was as if they had found kindred spirits in each other. I struck up a conversation with Emily, discovering that we shared more than just the experience of raising boys who loved to express themselves authentically. Our values, beliefs, and struggles resonated deeply, forging a bond that mirrored the one our sons were forming. As the day at the zoo unfolded, I couldn't help but notice the sheer joy radiating from Alex and Riley. Their laughter was infectious and their carefree spirits were a testament to the beauty of embracing one's true self. Watching them interact as they explored the exhibits, I knew that the club had become something far more profound than I had initially imagined. The boys, dressed in their chosen outfits, felt like they were soaring on the wings of freedom. They embraced the experience fully, their confidence soaring as they let go of any self-consciousness. It was evident that this shared journey brought them immense happiness and a newfound sense of belonging. As the day drew to a close and the sun dipped below the horizon, our little group left the zoo with hearts full of gratitude. Our encounter with Emily and Riley was a reminder that love and understanding could create bridges between seemingly different worlds. The boys had transformed a simple trip to the zoo into a powerful affirmation of their identities. They had discovered kindred spirits and experienced the transformative power of friendship. And as a mother, I couldn't have been prouder of the vibrant community that was taking shape around us, a community founded on love, acceptance, and the unshakable belief that every individual deserves the freedom to be true to themselves. The success of that first meeting at the zoo laid the foundation for the Feminine Boy Club. Our gatherings became a regular occurrence, and the club quickly grew as more boys and their mothers joined our circle of acceptance and love. Each meeting was a celebration of self-expression, where boys could dress and behave in ways that felt true to them. From dressing up in flowing dresses and twirling around to trying out makeup and experimenting with hairstyles, 
the boys reveled in the freedom to express themselves authentically. As the club meetings continued, I noticed a beautiful transformation in the boys. Their self-confidence blossomed, and they no longer felt the need to hide their true selves. The once shy and hesitant boys now radiated a sense of pride and joy, buoyed by the support of their fellow club members. Our gatherings took various forms, from picnics in the park to movie nights and art sessions. Every event was an opportunity for the boys to explore their identities while forging deep connections with one another. The mothers, too, found solace in the camaraderie that emerged among them. We shared stories, advice, and laughter, finding strength in the collective support we offered one another. One sunny afternoon, we organized a day at the beach. The boys arrived, their swimsuits accessorized with colorful scarves and sun hats. They played by the water building sandcastles and giggling as they splashed around. Their infectious laughter attracted curious glances from passers-by, but the boys remained unfazed, united in their shared experience. As the sun began to set, we gathered around a bonfire, sharing stories and roasting marshmallows. The boys' excitement was palpable as they chatted about their dreams and aspirations, their voices brimming with confidence. At the heart of it all was the unwavering pride the mothers felt for their sons. We saw them thriving, unburdened by societal norms and expectations. Our boys were becoming resilient, compassionate, and unapologetically themselves. Their journeys were teaching us all valuable lessons about the power of authenticity and the strength that comes from embracing one's true identity. The Feminine Boy Club was more than just a group. It was a testament to the boundless love a mother could offer her child. It was a haven where boys flourished, mothers found solace, and authenticity was celebrated. Together, we shattered stereotypes, dispelled prejudices, and nurtured an environment where every individual could thrive in the fullness of their being.